Okay guys, uh, now we're going to talk about emergency descent. Okay, I'll tell you about what was kind of my eye-opening uh, experience with emergency descent. It's whenever I was working on my private, my brother was going through his commercial stuff, getting ready for his commercial checker at the same time. I was flying a little Cessna 150, and he was flying the Bonanza. I remember our instructor said, okay, Brandon, uh, you know, you're at uh, 3,000 feet, you know, you have an engine failure, what do you do? And I remember going, uh, let's we'll see, uh, I guess I'm going to bid for uh, best glide speed, which I uh, think that's 65, I'm not sure. I'm, yeah, it's some, 60, 65, something like that. And then, uh, um, yeah, I guess I'm going to be going through my checklist, and, uh, and he's like, okay, well, what do, what do you do? I said, well, I guess we do uh, make sure the gas is on, uh, mixture's rich, uh, mags are on both, uh, just kind of going through it like that, blah, 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 and then finally, I somehow, struggled through it. And then he said, uh, okay, Robert, uh, you got 5,000 feet on a cross country bonanza, you lose, uh, your engine, what do you do? He said, I'm pitching airspeed, best glide speed's 121, looking for the best place to land, that looks like a good field down there, I'm, I'm aiming towards it, now checklist, okay, we got, uh, uh, Gas on fullest tank or opposite tank, mixture rich, fuel pumps on, mags on both, cover heats on, blah, 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 blah. No, you know, nothing else working. Okay, now I can declare emergency. I'm going uh, 121.5 on the, and 777, uh, excuse me, uh, 7700 on the transponder, blah, 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 That's it. I remember when I started to look at me, he said, well, it took you a minute 45 seconds to complete uh, your engine failure checklist. It took Robert 25 seconds to do it. Who's going to be in the better situation if they actually were in an emergency? So right then I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, I guess he's right about that. I really need to step up my game a lot, you know, because if you're in an emergency, you want to put yourself in the best possible position that you can, and you're going to come out better ahead of it. So the, the Air Force uses this acronym and uh, you just can't get any better. So get out your pen and paper and write this down. First line is going to be A, Alpha. Second line is going to be B for Bravo. C is Ch uh, Charlie. Next line down. And then finally the last line is going to be D, Delta. Okay, so A stands for airspeed. First thing we do is go through, we, we lose our engine, we're, you know, we're pitching for best glide speed. Okay, so here in the 172, it's going to be 75, pitching for air speed. B, looking for best place to land. I got the Gainesville Airport directly down there below me. Winds from the south, I'm going to start maneuvering for landing towards the south in runway 17, okay? C, checklist. I developed this checklist, took all of the, the checks out of the POH booklet and transferred it on this little, this little piece of paper, okay? So all my emergency, emergency uh, is going to be right here, the uh, engine failure in flight, A, B, C, D, I'll go through this checklist, boom, that's it. On our Cessna 150, we had about seven or eight pages, and, and the other 172 stuff I formed for is just a, you know, a big old book and stuff, and there's multiple checklists, and you're just going through it, and so it takes you a good 30 seconds to find the engine failure checklist. So right here, I just pull this checklist out and I'm turning it to the side that has red on it. And I'm reading airspeed, best glide 70, best place to land, engine failure checklist, carburetor heat's on, mixture's rich, ignition switch on both, primer's in locked, gas is on. You know, go right through that. Okay, nothing there. Okay, so now it goes to D, declare emergency. Okay, declare emergency 121.5, squawk 77 on the altimeter if we have enough altitude. Sometimes you may be uh, just a part of the runway up to 400 feet and you lose an uh, engine. Well, the only thing you can do there is best glide speed, best place to land. You're aiming for that pillow factory, the soft spot, okay? If you're at uh, in the traffic pattern and you have an uh, engine failure, the only thing I'm going to declare emergency with is the Unicom frequency. I'm going to hit the mic, say, Gainesville traffic says one's your uniform engine failure, we're returning to uh, the nearest runway, everybody clear out. That's the only thing I can do. But if you're at 5,000 feet, 10,000 feet, you got plenty of time. Then go ahead and, and uh, contact uh, somebody on the emergency frequency 121.5, squawk 7 to 700, and they'll be able to pinpoint you where you're going down. So that way, when you go down the field, they'll know where you're at instead of going down the field and not talking to any, anybody and be out there for a long time and no one know that you're actually gone. Okay, so we're going to go through an engine failure real quick. We'll practice. The field's directly under me. Okay, so all you're going to do is ease the power and idle. Okay, engine failure. Boom. First thing you want to do is we're pitching to 75. So you see I'm pitching up. I'm actually gaining altitude, so that's just bonus points right there. Right? So there's 75 miles an hour, so I'm just pitching to maintain that all the way down. So I actually gain about 100 feet of altitude. Okay? Best place to land, the airport's right there beside me. Boom. I'm grabbing my checklist out. 
Best glide speed 75. Best place to land is right there. Rubber heat's on. Mixture's full rich. Gas is on. Ignition switch is on both. Primer's in locked. I'm doing uh, 2115 uh, or 77 on the squawk or just gainful frequency. Boom. So you can see right there, boom, I got everything done. Now it's just up to me to get the airplane on the ground. And that's a lot better than going, uh, let's see, and flipping around through all these checklists, trying to figure out, you know, where the, oh, okay, now there it is, and stuff like that. And the best piece of advice I can give you is go ahead and sit down for about, it takes about two hours to do, maybe at the most. And you don't even have to be sitting down, just grab the checklist and go through it. You may be, uh, you know, cooking a bite uh, for dinner or something. Just try to memorize uh, the best glide speeds and stuff. So in the 160, I mean, excuse me, 150, 65 miles an hour. The 172, 75 miles an hour. The Bonanza, 121 miles an hour and stuff. And then that way, any airplane will go fly in, boom, 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 I already got it memorized, and, and you're going to be a lot safer pilot whenever... Gainesville traffic, this is Piper Comanche 715. Whenever you do get into that bad situation and stuff. So that's all I got for you today on uh, engine outs. And I'm just going to keep pitching for 75 and just kind of working my way down, and I'll grease it on on 17. So anyway, hope you enjoyed it.